Good morning, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Favorite Bands A to Z. We are counting down through July. All the letters of the alphabet, we have arrived at S. Remember how, uh, how it goes here on this particular show. Each letter of the alphabet, I'm going to pick my favorite band or artist. If it's the band, it's the first letter of the name of the band. If it's an artist, the first letter of their last name. I'm going to pick my favorite album. I'm going to do a runner-up and do the same thing. So S, pretty tough. I like a lot of bands and artists that start with S. Uh, but ultimately, you know, it came down to two. I think if we would have done this exercise like 10 or 20 years ago, um, I think my number one still would have been my number one, perhaps. Uh, my number two might not have, but it's one of those bands. I think both of these bands have, as I've gotten older, have really soared in their popularity with me personally. Uh, I, I listen to both of these bands more and more now than I ever did, and I am one of them I've been listening to since I was a kid, but I really appreciate them even more now. So my number one is going to be Styx. I'm going to go with uh, The Grand Illusion. Of course, Styx riding high right now in their brand new release, Crash of the Crown. They released The Mission, the Mission a couple of years ago, Cyclorama like a decade and a half ago. Uh, three really great albums later in their career, but for me, uh, you know, Grand Illusion is probably my favorite album. Okay, this is their first big album, following up the very, very, very cool album, Equinox, right? Uh, now, Equinox and, and Crystal Ball. Equinox, Crystal Ball, then Grand Illusion. Then, of course, you've got Pieces of Eight, Cornerstone, right? Paradise Theater, Kilroy. Long string of really, really top-selling albums. Uh, and I love this band because, you know, got th the three lead singers, Dennis DeYoung, Tommy Shaw, J.Y. James Young, you know, Lawrence Gowan now, um... Hard rock, progressive rock, a little bit of psych, definitely some pop. I mean, they kind of do it all. Uh, they kind of scratch, scratch all the itches for me. And uh, just amazing band, amazing musicians, amazing vocalists, amazing songwriters. Just, I love so many of these albums. So Styx is going to take my number one spot for this particular episode here for S. The, no, the runner-up was interesting. I had a lot of bands I was considering. Saxon, Scorpions, Sabotage, right? just to name a couple. Symphony X. Surely, just to name a few, Steppenwolf. I ultimately went with a band that, uh, you know, with the thing with the Scorpions is I really love the 70s catalog with Willie John Roth. And I like the start of the Matthias Jabs era. I don't really like much of the Scorpion stuff they've released over the last couple decades. Um, the Sabotage stuff, I love the Sabotage albums. All right. Again, if we would have done this 20 years ago, they'd probably be either one or two. Uh, you know, Saga's up there as well. Symphony X, I almost wanted to pick Symphony X here because I've listened to a ton of Symphony X. I love them so much. Uh, you know, they're one of the newer bands of the last, like, you know, 20, 25 years that I've really gotten into. But ultimately, it came down to a band that I have been listening to so much over the last, like, 5, 10 years. And I just, I like more and more as I get older. I had to go with Steely Dan. All right, and today I'm going to pick the Royal Scam. Could be Asia, could be Pretzel Logic. Can't buy a thrill. Doesn't matter. All the albums are just great. Uh, just such a amazing band, a uh, pop band, a rock band, a jazz band, uh, kind of a little bit of everything band. Just, just totally dig them. They, uh, I spent a lot of time listening to Steely Dan in recent years, and so they they had to be my number two today. So, but it was close. No disrespect to the, some of those other bands that I mentioned, because a uh, lot, lot of great bands and artists to start with. That so many, um, you know, could have just could have done like ten honorable mentions, easy. But had to pick two. So of course, Sticks, Steely Dan. Those are my choices today for S. Uh, curious to see what you guys come up with in the comments below. Your favorite band or artist, and your favorite album by them, and then your runner up. All about the letter S today. So thanks for playing along. We got T coming up tomorrow. Coming up here on the channel later today, Stephen Reed from Scotland is back on the show. We are going to do two separate Ranking the Album shows. One for UK Prog Act Frost. Fantastic band. If you haven't heard them, do not miss the show. Small catalog, so easy to digest. And then uh, Polish 
progressive rock slash progressive metal juggernauts Riverside. So check out both of those shows featuring Stephen Reed and myself. You don't want to miss either one. Some great albums are going to be talked about today. So stay tuned for that later on. Visit us on the web at www.seeyourtranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we're here on YouTube all the damn time. Uh, probably going to try and get to another ranking the album show tomorrow. I got a couple that I'm working on, so hopefully I can squeeze them in. Uh, if not, you'll get them during the week. But of course, we've got uh, the Monsters Den coming up next Thursday. We've got Hudson Valley Squares on Monday, where we're going to pick our favorite albums from 1977, along with uh, special guests Jim Bocci, Mike Portnoy, and Martin Popoff. Tuesday in the Prague seat. Once again, Wednesday is What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility Day, New Product Review Day, and of course, Martin Popoff will be back at the Fun House with me on Friday morning. So lots coming up this week, so you don't want to miss any of it. So uh, I am Pete Pardo. We'll see you real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.